Good morning everyone, my name is Teacher Z and welcome to MK Education Live and for the morning news. World's smallest dinosaur found embedded in amber. The world's smallest dinosaur has been discovered and it looks like a miniature pigeon. The 100 million year old bird, just 5 centimeters long, had bulging lizard-like eyes and a beak packed with 100 sharp teeth. Its tiny head was found preserved in amber, fossilized tree resin or sap, and has blown away scientists who said it looks like it died yesterday. The dinosaur named Oculodentavis congre lived in present-day Myanmar 100 million years ago and would have weighed less than 28 grams. It would have been roughly the same size as today's smallest bird, the bee hummingbird. The fossil's head is smaller than a blueberry, but the perfectly preserved details are visible using 3D imaging. It has enabled researchers to generate a computerized image of its whole body. And evidence, including its large eyes with small pupils adapted to daylight, point to it being a predatory dinosaur that would have fed on small insects. Oculodentavis means eye-toothed bird. So there's a picture there. Prof. Chigma O'Connor of the Chinese Academy of Sciences said in journal Nature, it was completely, I was completely blown away. To a paleontologist, it's weird. We've never seen anything like it. I definitely couldn't keep a lid on this one. There's nothing like this alive today. It's just incredible to uncover this new ecological niche we never even knew existed. The find will help scientists study further how modern birds evolved from the dinosaurs. So another news, a big dinosaur discovery. 50 footprints from one of the earliest dinosaurs have been found in the United Kingdom. The oval tracks are thought to have been left by a young stegosaurus. They were found on the Isle of Skye by experts from the University of Edinburgh. Dinosaurs roamed the Scottish island 170 million years ago. Stegosauruses grew up to 9 meters long and weighed just under 6 tons. So for the words to know, first, pupils. Again, pupils. Pupils, the black part of an eyeball. Next, we have predatory. Again, predatory. Last, predatory. Predatory preys on other animals. Next, paleontologist. Again, say it with me. Paleontologist. Paleontologist studies fossils of extinct animals and plants. Another word, ecological. Again, ecological. Last one, ecological. Ecological to do with plants and animals and how they live together. Next we have niche. Again, niche. Last one, niche. Niche, small or specialized place or section of a population. So let's talk. In today's story, you have read about two big discoveries about dinosaurs. Do you remember it? Okay, which discovery do you think is the most important? So you can just comment down there. And you can also give reasons for your answer. Okay, now let's go to the word of the day. So for the word of the day, we have lucid. Okay, can you say it with me? Lucid. One last time. Lucid. So lucid means expressed clearly or easy to understand. Again, lucid means expressed clearly or easy to understand. So the synonyms for lucid are transparent, clear, and comprehensible. Again, when we say synonyms, they are words with the same meaning. Okay? So for the word of the day again, lucid. <clears throat> now let's go for the news entertainment. News entertainment. So every day I will give you different kinds of news entertainment. I will give you celebrity gossips, fashion, movies, music, or lifestyle. So for today, I will give you... The top five grossing movies of 2019. So these movies, um, I don't know if you have watched this, 
if you have watched this movie so if you haven't watched this before it's not too late so let's go to the top five grossing movies of 2019 number five we have toy story 4 so the release date of toy story 4 was last june 21 2019 its gross was 450 million four hundred thirty nine thousand five hundred thirty three dollars and ticket solds were forty nine million four hundred forty four thousand five hundred fifteen next we have number four frozen 2 release date was last november 22 2019 its cross was four hundred fifty one million five hundred eighty two thousand two hundred fifty six dollars ticket solds were forty nine million Five hundred sixty-nine thousand nine hundred fifty-one. <clears throat> Number three, we have Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Release date was last December 20, 2019. Um, the twenty nineteen gross was four hundred fifty-one million five hundred eighty-two thousand two hundred fifty-six dollars, and ticket sales were forty-nine million five hundred sixty-nine thousand nine hundred fifty-one. Let's go to the number two. We have Lion King. Lion King release date July 19, 2019. Uh, its gross was $543,638,043. And its tickets sold were $59,674,868. So, what do you think? What's the number one? Okay, let's go to the number one Avengers Endgame. Release date was last April 26, 2019. Its 2019 gross was $858,373,000. And the tickets sold were $94,223,161. So with, with this, I think nobody doesn't like a Marvel movie. I think everybody likes a Marvel movie. What do you think? Okay, let's proceed to the top 10 tips of the day. So every day I will give you different top 10 tips so that you can start your day with a different kind of mood, with a different kind of vibe. So for today's top 10 tips, for today's 10 tips, we have the 10 tips for being, for being the new employee in a company. Okay, so number one, research your environment before diving in. Sometimes you'll be able to get a sneak peek of what to expect. For example, companies like Google and other major co corporations are pretty transparent about the company culture. You might be able to find company videos or YouTube channels or even helpful blogs and forums to prepare you for your first day. You can also glean tips from what employees experience. Knowing how relaxed a company is, what the average worker is in your department, or the general dress code can help you prep for fitting in. Okay, number two, smile, ask questions, and be interested. So it might sound like an advice for a first date, but these three things can go a long way. You're going to enjoy punching the clock much more if you genuinely like the people around you. Get started on the right foot by being friendly. People like people who are curious about them. In other words, everyone's a narcissist, okay? Like it or not, Making friends can just be as important as doing your job well, okay? So number three, we have practice saying yes. Say yes. You might feel overwhelmed, but as a newbie, always say yes. If someone asks you for coffee, to lunch, to volunteer in a project, or just about anything else. Being agreeable comes before being a pushover. You have to prove yourself before you can say no. Okay, again, so say yes. Number four. Don't complain. In your first few weeks, you have no room for complaint. Take initiative, look into why things are done the way they are, and take everything as a learning experience. You need to master the field before you start making suggestions. Okay, number five, respect everyone. It doesn't matter where you are in pecking order or where anyone else is. Treat everyone with the same high level of respect from the entry-level employee to the CEO. You never know how, who could have your back, do you a favor, or even be your undoing. Let's proceed to number six, give 
or 120 or 150. The point is, as a newbie, you need to work harder than anyone else. You need to prove you want to be there, you like to be there, and you'll give it your all. Okay? Number seven, repeat everyone's name after being introduced. <clears throat> You're overwhelmed, but forgetting someone's name can be one of the biggest blunders you make. <clears throat> make it a point to repeat everyone's name after introductions and address them by name whenever possible. You need to drill those monikers into your head. Okay, number eight, appreciate company quirks. You might not get the word, the weird birthday song yet or why Friday night happy hours are always at the same bar, but go along with it. Traditions are important and giving them a fair shot can help you integrate it. This SOP is important, that is number nine. Chances are your predecessor spent a long time putting together that handbook of standard operator procedures. Learn it, memorize it, and live it. It's your cheat sheet, okay? Why would you ignore it? <clears throat> so for number 10, last, offer to help. It doesn't matter if it's carrying files to storage or helping a coworker with a spreadsheet. If you can help in any way, do so. That's where teamwork is born. Okay, so I think I can see their comments. Okay, so for Troy, Velocina, copy my I'll do it. Uh, yeah, you need to do that. Okay, so with this, um, I'm going to end our morning news with a quote from Napoleon Hill, which says, if you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. Okay, so with that, I am Teacher Z. And this is MK Education Live. For the morning news, have a nice day. Good morning, everyone. Bye.